Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do a secondary survey on a trauma patient. Considering that the primary survey is done, approach the patient, place two gloves, hands on the patient's head. Keep in contact with the head. We are checking for DCAP BTLS, which are deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. When we place the gloves behind the, the head or somewhere we can't see, check the gloves to see if there's any blood on the gloves. We check all the orifices. For any blood or fluid which may be coming out. We also inspect around the eyes looking for raccoon eyes and behind the ears looking for battle signs. Both are indicative of head injuries. Check along behind the neck and come right down onto the shoulders keeping constant contact with the patient. From here, down onto the chest. And again, anywhere we put our hands that we can't see, check your gloves for any blood. Then we come to the abdomen region, split the abdomen into four quadrants. Gently palpate each quadrant and we're looking for rigidity or guarding from the patient. If we haven't got eyes on already in the primary server, we can now check the abdomen. Again, we're looking for any decap BTLS. From here, onto the hips of the patient we're also looking for a prior prism in the patient which may be indicative of a spinal injury from there we go down onto the limbs again keeping our hands on the patient as we slide our hands down so we're not doing a tapping motion, we have constant contact with the patient's limb. And again, we're looking for decap BTLS. When the two legs are done, we then move on to the two arms. We will also check for many alert tags on the, each of the patient's limb or around the neck. This concludes the secondary survey for a trauma patient.